when you get to the portion of the glaciers chapter that always talks about moraines, it seems to be a concept that most people understand. We get this idea that ice is flowing down slope um, and it's kind of bulldozing this material. Uh, material might be melting out from underneath and kind of being dropped off. Uh, that sort of concept is usually pretty easy to understand. But then there's like a bunch of different types and that can be kind of overwhelming. And it's usually presented in a list of definitions that don't seem to really sink in. So let's go over the types of moraines. All right, so this is going to be a map view and I've got this like ridge here. It might be an aret, if you know what an aret is. And I've got some um, rock over here and rock over here. And so this is higher sloped and we're gonna go down slope something like this, right? That's the elevation is doing. And we've got a glacier coming in here into the valley and a glacier coming into here in the valley. So let's first talk about this ice that's flowing there and what can potentially happen and even the stuff that's flowing here. I mean, my valley is kind of wide, but that's okay. I want room to um, annotate everything. All right, so as the glaciers are flowing through these two smaller valleys, we'll get um, moraine deposits along the side here. And that's as that material is kind of just shoved up on the sides. And so, and even as the moraine joins together or the um, glacier joins together, we're gonna get this stuff along the sides. So we'd be able to draw moraines along the side and along the side, and we could continue that on. And these are gonna be called our lateral. So in football, they say, you know, it's a lateral, means they throw it to the side or slightly behind. So you can think about it that way. If that helps, it's on the side, lateral. All right, same thing down here, lateral moraine, lateral moraine. So I'll use a little cur curly cues for that. All right, so another thing that happens is when the two glaciers join, the material that comes off of this little tip here is also going to kind of get shoved up. And so I'm going to change to this kind of like zigzaggy form, and you're going to get a moraine that marks kind of where these two um, glaciers kind of came together. And so this is going to be what's called a medial moraine. So it's in the middle, right? You might have heard the word medial before. Um, and then the other types of moraines would be at the end of the glacier. So let's just picture this for a moment. We're going to have our glacier come down here and we're going to say that it's going to park itself right in here. So I'm going to do some dots here at the end. Okay, so this is what's going to be called an end moraine. So here's my end moraine. Now, what might happen is that glacier might recede back and then it's going to move forward again. That happens, they kind of advance and retreat. So they advance to then form this end moraine here, it might retreat, and then it might advance again. But maybe it doesn't go quite as far, so it forms another end moraine. Okay, so here's another end moraine. And let's say that it retreats again and it advances one more time. Uh, and it forms another end moraine. Okay, so here's my end moraine here. Now you have, and let's say that the whole thing uh, melts away, and so you come to these ridges of rocks, like, oh, there's three end moraines here. And they're just marking different advance and retreats that had happened. Um, the one distinction is the very lowest one that marks the um, point where the glacier was advanced the most. We also call it a terminal moraine because it's the very last one. So um, you have three end moraines, but only this last one would be considered um, a terminal moraine, and it would be the oldest of all of them. Right? And then the last type of moraine is not really something I can draw, I can more talk to it, and it's called ground moraine. And so what happens is um, glaciers, even though they are these beautiful white ice pictures you might see, they're kind of a, um, a messy bunch, especially along the bottom. And um, when that moraine, material is deposited on the bottom, we call it ground moraine. So the ice will melt back and it just leaves kind of this scattering of rock material. So once the glacier was completely gone, you would just have ground moraine everywhere. Um, and that's it, hopefully that helps.